I'm sorry, Cass. Let's get out of here. <gasps> oh my god, don't even, you guys. Hello, this is Flurry Moon. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is season two. And already we're starting off different because one, there's a little bat back there. There's some lovely human outside mowing their lawn. And it's just really beautiful to me. We will be filming season two on my phone because last time I needed to film on my laptop because I needed my phone to play the game, but this time the game is not on the app, so it's only on my laptop, so this is already gonna be a little weird. I hope we can make it work. Please stick around for the end because we have to discuss the future of this series whether you like it or not. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm actually looking now and there are eight episodes. So maybe there will be four videos of me doing this. I don't know. Also, there's little like things on the side of it because this is in um, draft version. And let's just see how this goes, I guess. Season two, episode one, Here Lies. I made it a different story because it wouldn't let me make any new characters, but it's all the same shit. <laughs> the fuck? How's this, Linda? Let me see this. Dear God, how could you possibly think paying customers would willingly digest this abomination? Do it again and don't stop until you get it right. But miss, it's already 9.30. My shift was over an hour ago. Do I look like I give a rat's ass? Fix it. What is going on here? Three months. It's been three months since the last time I saw Kai or Kiki or Dave. Oh my god, so this is how we're going. Okay, so this is three months after everything that happened. Or anyone I knew before. After it was uncovered that Kai's daughter, Anna, murdered my cousin and almost tried to kill me, why would I want to stay there? I finally got my own apartment in New York and it's actually quite nice, but at what cost? I'm working for a woman I despise at a job I despise, for what? Screw Linda. I'm going home. <laughs> Author's note. I know this is the place where she found Elena dead, but there's no other apartment backgrounds episode get on that, thanks. You heard her. Just pretend it's new, LMAO. Finally, I get to take this stupid outfit off. Oh my god. I can't show that. I think I forgot to give her pants, you guys. I, I don't think I could show that on YouTube. It's just her actual outfit out. As much as I love living alone, I still get nervous sometimes. Considering Elena died while she was alone in our house, and the house looks exactly like the one you live in right now, I think I have a right. Knock knock. Who is it? The door suddenly opened a crack. Hello? Still no answer. I have to get out of here. Who the f*** is that? Ooh. Where are you going so soon, beautiful? Oh Jesus, Toby, you scared the shit out of me. Who the hell is Toby? Wait, I need coffee. Ah! There was a little fly on it. You saw nothing. He's a mutual friend. Mutual? <laughs> you don't have any friends. <laughs> and yeah, I know. He's hot as f But I don't plan on making a move, so he's all yours. <laughs> have you seen- Okay, should I do different voices this season? Kai will be the same, but Toby, let's do- Have you seen Allie? Nope, not since yesterday. Why? Why is Cass still not wearing pants? I'm gonna have to edit this so much. So where are you gonna ask her out? Oh, come on, Toby. It's so obvious. You love her. I do not. <laughs> and aren't you still in love with Broody Boy anyways? I saw all those pictures of you two on your phone. Kai? <laughs> Please. He turned me down months ago. T. Doesn't mean you can just shut off your feelings. I can try. <laughs> Who are these people? Ugh, this place reeks of poor people pretending to be rich. Allie, have I ever told you that you're an awful human being? <laughs> you didn't need to. I know. Okay, Slay. Say anything you want. I knew how to make a hot character. <laughs> this is Allie. She seems like a total bitch. And she is. But that's what I love about her. This has given me Kira flashbacks. I hope she comes back, but I can't make any promises, you guys. I literally have no idea what happens in this story. She's also really loyal, and she's how I met Toby. They're also best friends, but I know they both want more. I don't give a shit. We need to get you a new outfit. Yes, please, because it literally looks like a vagina on her dress. Ah! <laughs> Wait! One that doesn't look like a vagina. I love like the little moments where it's so clear that I wrote it because I have the same thoughts I did like seven years ago or whatever. This looks like a vagina? 
so much girl let me help you <laughs> meanwhile back in connecticut Con connecticut oh my god cut! copycat took place in connecticut i i guess it did i guess it did slow down there peters you'll give yourself a stroke dave that's not Dave. It's just another guy named Dave. <laughs> Can I get a stroke from drinking too much? Sounds like me when I'm drunk. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna die. Awesome. He's plastered, dude. Ahish. It's actually kind of nice. It's been three months since his girlfriend died? Huh? Kiki? I love you guys. The next morning. Who the hell is this? <laughs> I had a lovely night, babe. Who are you again? Candace, your girlfriend? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Are you looking for something? Yes, a boyfriend who actually remembers who I am in the morning. T, I agree. A boyfriend who doesn't sleep with hookers? When he just got off the phone with me? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Oh my god. Oh my god, his shorts. <laughs> this is insane. I don't, I don't. Is this canon? <laughs> to getting drunk in our bikinis. Well, that sounds like fun to me. I can't see him. Don't speak to my girl that way. Who the hell is Alan? Oh, hey, Alan. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, okay. You can't expect me to not be with my girl, do you? This is my boyfriend, Alan. He's nice and all, but probably the most boring and irritating person I've ever met. Toby and Allie always ask me why I'm with him and I never really have an answer. Maybe I'm lonely, maybe I miss Kai, or maybe I do like him, who knows. But he's in love with me and I don't know what I'll say when he tells me. I'ma go to the John. <laughs> Great. Oh, there you are. I almost died from boredom over there. The guy sucks. Well, at least I can admit my feelings for him unlike you two. Bye! Later. After hanging out at the pool with Toby and Allie, I decided to take a drive back to Connecticut. Every year on the date of my mom's death, I go back to the cemetery to see her. But since I have work that day, and my bitch of a boss wouldn't let me get the day off, I decided to go today. I love this song! Okay? <laughs> me on my way to the cemetery. Love you, mom. Eight years later, and it still hurts just the same. Cass? Kai? What the fuck? What the? Am I drunk again? Hey. Hey? Oh, his voice. That's all you have to say? Everyone thinks you're dead. What? Why? Dead? How? No one could- Wait, 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 wait. No one could find you. You were reported missing by Dave when you didn't show up to work. And- What? And then about a week later, your body was found. How? Well, obviously it wasn't you. I guess that's just what they told the public. I was here to see your grave. Oh my god. Why am I gonna cry, you guys? You come to see my grave? All the time. Cass, I know we didn't end on the best terms, but I have been a mess without you. Huh? Don't ever leave me again. Never. Oh my god, they're kissing! They're kissing! Except I- <laughs> made it wrong so they're not kissing oh my god you guys they're back they're back i know some of you may not forgive him but i forgive him i forgive him and i have my reasons i wrote him he's my baby season two episode two what the hell are you doing here i wanted to see if Allie was here why is it every time you show up to my house you're looking for someone else um oh my god guys here ah, ah, ah. Cass, don't freak out but there's a strangely attractive man in your house by King, our first uh, LGBTQ+. The guy with no feelings, I've heard about you. You talk about me, babe? <laughs> what is going on, where are we? This place is awesome. Okay, you guys have to promise not to tell anyone about this place, got it? Promise. I found this place, <laughs> they keep saying this place, this place. I found this place before I met Toby and Allie about a month into living in New York. I was insanely depressed and was starting to think coming out here on my own was a bad idea. I would come here all the time just to hang out and drink. What is it? But now I have people to share it with. Where are we? It's just like a little bar. Okay, so I have an issue. Bring it, girl. Guy troubles, money issues, I can handle it all. My whole hometown believes I'm dead. What the fuck? How did this happen? Kai explained the whole thing. <laughs> and you have no idea who did this. Not a clue. I mean, trust me, my life is weird, but all of my enemies are in prison. <laughs> 
Oh my god, maybe Kira's pissed that she got removed from copycat. <laughs> Wait, how did they say she died? I believe it was suicide. Those assholes actually believe that I killed myself. <laughs> Well, go to the police station and say we have reasons to believe Cass didn't commit suicide. They must still have the body because I'm assuming the case was left unsolved. What do you know, Allie? Then they'll have to take out the body to give it another look. And if they refuse to, then we'll know they're lying and there is no body at all. I don't- is that a good idea? Was there a funeral? Because if that's the case, they probably don't have the body anymore. Oh, but we're we're saying there is no body. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> there is no body because Cassandra is still alive. There we go. I get it now. Perfect. I'll get the car. What are you smiling at? That is the hottest man I have ever seen. Please tell me you're boning because if you don't hop on that, I will. Hey, Mr. I roll over there. What's your problem? Nothing. I'm gonna go help Kai. Same. They all just went opposite directions. Hello, Mr. Officer. Hello there, little lady. <laughs> I'd love to sit here and chat, but I have to see my friend's body. <laughs> Who was your friend? Cassandra Winter. Oh, we, we don't have her here. What? Why the hell not? We don't have the rights to the body. Well, then who does? Her husband, Jonathan Winter. Ew, are we gonna have to see him, you guys? <laughs> Oh my god, is this the comeback of Jonathan? The original man I hated? I totally forgot. Low-key, miss him. I miss hating him. Husband? What? Nothing. Fine, you look really hot when you're smoking. <laughs> I hate the flirty lines. I hate it. It makes me so uncomfortable. I just want to like... You're back. How did it go? Well, for starters, it would have been nice to know you have a husband. You didn't tell her? Honestly, I just wanted to forget about him. Me too. See, I love you, but you made a big mistake by not divorcing his ass right away. Apparently, since you're married, he has the body. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because I don't think that makes any sense. He just has it? Laying around? Is it in a freezer? Whose body is it? Is there a body? <laughs> Kai, what do we do? I'm gonna kill him. Kai, no, we have to be civil. Maybe we should just forget about it. No, Cass, that's not fair. You may have a new life, but you can't pretend like your old one never happened. Someone is getting away with setting up your death, which probably means they'd like you dead. And I don't know about anyone else, but I'd prefer my girlfriend alive. Girlfriend? <laughs> Only if you want. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'll be in the car. In the living room, ask- Oh my god, are we gonna see Jonathan? I'm so nervous. Oh my god, there he is. I never thought I would see him again on screen. You've made a big mistake showing your face here, Winter. Why? That's Montgomery to you, ass. Really? Because as far as I'm aware, we're still married. Well, as far as I'm aware, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you have a problem? Of course we have a problem, dead. Why'd you do it? I prefer Miss Montgomery out of my way for good. But I am out of your way. I mo I've moved to New York. Well, you're here right now, aren't you? Yeah, because of you. You see, it was no surprise to anyone that you offed yourself. Everybody knew we were having troubles in our marriage and you just couldn't take it anymore. Nobody misses you, Cassandra. Don't you get it? You're just like every other wh that's ended her life over a wealthy man. Good. Beat the living out of him. And this makes no sense, by the way. Whatever you do, never expect this story to make any sense. I get tons of comments being like, well, this doesn't make any sense. What if... I know. I know. You can still comment those. I think it's so funny. But, like, some people actually try to desperately make it make sense. And I just, I promise you, it never will. It's not good. It's not a good story. He was pissing me off. I'm sorry, Cass. Let's get out of here. <gasps> oh my god, no way she's back. What? I don't appreciate you beating up my man on our wedding day. Don't even, you guys. To be continued. That 
was insane. This is like all new to me. I was basically worried because I was like, people were starting to get a little annoyed how much the story changed. And to that I say, I was literally 15, 16 and I didn't know how to make a story. Like again, it's not good. It's not a good story. So I was like not expecting much of the original plot to make a comeback in this season two. So far, I'm loving it. So I mentioned that we have to talk about the future of this series. There is none. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've gotten many comments saying you should read iconic episode stories that aren't yours just to continue reacting to episode. I think that would be really fun. However, these types of videos are so fun for me. I love it. I love, love, love it. I really hope you guys understand that. However, I also love being really creative and scripting videos and putting a lot of time filming into them. These videos are very much not that. So all I'm saying is I hope you guys stick around even if not every single video on my channel is related to episode or playing episode. I love variety and I love doing different things. So yeah, I like what I'm doing right now like every other video sometimes like every other week usually being an episode video so and if you don't like that that's okay I totally understand that but yeah so that's kind of all I have to say about that so on that note comment below if you guys still want me to do episode what stories you'd like me to read or if you'd just want more deep dive content about episode I don't know what you guys like I don't know if you guys just love episode or love watching me react to it so please let me know sorry if this was was long. I guess if I had to react to anything, I would love to do Chain Reaction because to me that's the most iconic story on that app and it has not aged very well so I think that would be very funny. Comment below what you think about everything I mentioned and that's about it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!